Hi everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Happy Saturday Dollar Tree haul. I am here. I have a ton of stuff for you guys. I hope that you guys have had a fantastic couple of days since Wednesday's Dollar Tree haul, since I chatted with you guys last and got to catch up with you. And let's just get right into it because I have so many amazing things that I cannot wait to share with you. So we are just going to jump right on in. I'm going to pick and pull from the side of me. I don't quite know what I am going to be grabbing first, last, second, but let's just go. And I grabbed some nails right now. So they had a brand new whole entire display of this LA color nails. And these are glow in black light nails. So I got a green pair to which I absolutely love. I also grabbed these right here, which these ones are called artificial enchanted nails. And they have this little marbleized design on them right there, which is really, really, really cute. And these are the purple lilac color that I love very much and the orange ones. So I tried really hard because there were so many colors to choose from. I did take a picture of the entire display and I will share that with you guys on my Instagram. Please go over and follow me there. It is Crazy Days of Callan on Instagram as well. And whatever pictures I take in the stores, I always share with you all of the options that are in the Dollar Trees right now so that you can find what you are looking for. So there are the four of those right there. And the display was so vibrant, so fun. I absolutely loved it. If you know me, I am a colorful girl and it drew me right in and I was so excited. It took all of my strength not to pick up every single color, but I did just want to stick right with the Halloween colors. And then I got these nail polishes that were one tier down on the same exact display case but with all nail polishes. And this is also LA Colors. And this one is called, um, let's see, does it say, it says it's glow in black light. But anyhow, it's just an orange color, but it's like a light orange color. And I really, really like that shade. And then this one right here is also LA Colors. And this is a glow in the dark nail polish. So I took a picture of all of the press on nails and the nail polishes in one picture. And I will share that on my Instagram tonight. If you guys want to go check it out, I can't wait for you guys to find your displays in your stores and they couldn't be any cuter. Now I also found these right here and I had to have them because they have little wristlet options. So I found this little pleathery looking little case right here. It has two zipper pockets to it and it says smile. So I thought that this is so cute. Just I love wristlets and I love crossbodies. I never really carry a purse. And if I need something bigger to hold my essentials, I usually throw a tote bag in the back seat with all of the necessary things for me to have on me um, during the day. So this wristlet is perfect just for your license, your identification, what have you. Um, if you need a credit card or whatever, and just put it in there, sling it over your wrist. And I loved the pink color, um, for the zipper lining and the wristlet area. And it's just a really, really cute little, little wristlet. And then this one as well, it says yay on it and it is the pink color, but with the black handle for the wristlet. So I picked those two up, but there were four options. So I did take a picture of them as well, all together. And that also will be shared on my Instagram tonight. Then I picked up this crossbody because this was like, oh my goodness. Like I am not a cat girl. I I've never had cats. I've always had dogs, but I Oh my God, there are dogs on here. I thought it was all kitties, but I guess that there are some puppies on here too. So I am a dog girl. Well, my dogs are there. 
there are my dogs and my kitties over here they're just so cute with their eyeglasses on it and you know i love my eyeglasses so not only the visual of the colors drew me in that are incorporated in this crossbody bag but also that all of the pets had eyeglasses on stylish ones at that so here's the crossbody little um little I don't know handle what <laughs> it's not a handle why can't I think of the word it's whatever but it is adjustable the strap and so that can sling right around you with your essentials in this as well just so that it is a really comfy little thing to just throw on you to have your identity and things like that carried with you like your license and what have you so i picked up those options right there which i was just so so excited to see these brand new things in the store i haven't seen a lot in quite a while to be honest with you outside of like the fall decorations coming out and the halloween decorations coming out i haven't seen a lot of just regular items coming out in the other aisles so i was so excited the last couple of days to have found all these brand new things that are new to my store so i was really having a fun time at the dollar tree the last couple of days i have seen people pick these up for the last couple of months i have yet to see them in my store but i definitely wanted to have them because they are just so me and they're just little hair clips. So if I want to put my hair up in some fun, funky looking like pigtail buns and then stick some butterflies in it, you know, to embellish and make my buns pop, um, this is really cute. And I love that these butterflies right here kind of go with my encrusted headband that I have on today. So I had to grab these because these are just a really beautiful time. So I love those. And then they had some headbands with kitty ears. So I did grab one for my goddaughter and I picked her up this one right here. And I think it's so cute with the little felt flowers, um, the little felt roses all around the rim of it. So I'm going to give that to her. And then this one I picked up for Halloween. I like to dress up for the whole entire month of October. And I love that it has like the little lace in there. So even if I'm just wanting to go to work with a little headband on that I can dress up like a kitty while I'm making my flower arrangements at work through the month of October, I did want to grab that. I thought it was really, really cute. And then this one right here with the sequence on it and it's kind of mermaid like and fun so i picked up those three headbands right there and i was so so excited to have found those then i also i'm gonna have to look down for a moment then i found this okay and i don't know about you guys but when i run through like dunkin donuts to grab a coffee or mcdonald's to have a coffee in the morning and stuff sometimes i'm half asleep because i haven't had that coffee yet and then Sometimes the people that are serving me are also sleeping because they never give me a straw. And then I drive away thinking that I'm all set to go. I go to find my straw that was supposed to come with a coffee and is MIA. And I don't really want to take the time to go back around, get back in line, um, and try to get a straw. So... I found this at the Dollar Tree today and I have never seen a package like this of wrapped straws. They look just like the ones that they give you at Dunkin Donuts, McDonald's with the wrapping on it. And there's a hundred wrapped straws in here. So I could just take a little bunch of these, keep them inside of my glove box. You know, the whole family can grab a few, you know, just in case they run into the same situation while they're out running their errands and they wanted to grab a coffee but didn't grab a straw. So there are some wrapped straws that can be safely in your glove box and cover it up so that they don't get nothing on them before you use them. So hello, I like that. And I'm really excited that they had those at the store this morning. So I picked those right up for sure um, to have. And I actually didn't get a straw yesterday when I went through Dunkin Donuts to grab my small French vanilla swirl iced coffee with cream only and with no straws. So I was in that same predicament I'm talking about just yesterday. 
I did pick up my mother some more yarn. This yet just yarn brand is unbelievable. Like they are an expensive yarn. It's usually for this size skein of yarn about $3.50. Some places at a lower price. And this same skein of yarn can go up to $7 if you're buying it elsewhere. So they are at the Dollar Tree on a regular basis at my stores. And I loved all three of these colors together. So, and they were brand new. I've never seen like this periwinkle, this, um, this like auburny purplish type of one in this teal. So I think that those are really, really pretty together. So I picked those up for her to have. And, um, you know, she loves to knit because I tell you guys that all the time. Then I found this right here and you know, I love things that smell amazing. You know, I love clean, fresh, scented laundry and perfumes and room sprays and all that stuff. Well, I found this. I've never seen this ever before. Not in this size container. It's in wash aroma booster and odor eliminator. That is what this says right here. And it's, it's the beads. So this is a whole entire humongous jar of, oh my goodness, this smells like nobody's business. I'm going back and I'm getting more. I, you know, I smelled it in the store really quick, but smelling it right now in my house while I'm in my own environment, just taking the lid off has literally lit up my whole entire area right now. That smells incredible. So I'm going back and I'm getting more and it's probably going to be tonight because I went and they only had a couple of these on the shelves. So I scooped one, but I'm definitely going to need some more of these and I'll let you know how they work after I do my laundry with them on Monday. So I'll have to let you know on Wednesday what they did for my laundry. Then I grabbed a couple of books that they had and these are brand new but big beautiful books and these are this are, one went for $11.99 and it says here is the world right there and it's a year of Jewish holidays. So I thought that that was really really amazing. What a gorgeous book to have and um I just love, I love when they get gorgeous books, children's books and what have you. That's what a pretty, pretty book. So I picked that one up right there. Then I also grabbed this one and this is Jewish holidays all year round. So there was these two options right there. And then this book went for $21 and 95 cents. So that is this book and look at, it's just, it's beautiful and learn and grow from it all the knowledge inside that you can can you know absorb that's awesome and I love it now my girl my girl Jay she had said in one of her hauls just recently that she had been looking for these and my store has been fully stocked so I did pick up some of these chocolate masks from Miss Spa. I've showed these to you plenty of times before. This is one of my favorite masks to have. Um, this is a great heated mask. It gets really, really hot on your face and it does phenomenal. It's cocoa powder, repairs, soothes skin for a healthier glow um, complexion. So I grabbed four more and I'm gonna send them out in Happy Meal. But they're, they're options for face masks and lip masks and all kinds of masks are really, really cool. So I had to run back because I knew we still had them and grab her some to send in Happy Meal. And I still have to get some out to a couple of people that are my friends here locally to my area. I found this multiplication from the Scholastic brand flashcards which is really important because you always find the ones that are like add adding and subtract you know subtracting and things like that so I've never actually seen the multiplication one and I wanted to pick this one up because that is really you know important as well for mathematics so I grabbed this right here just to have on hand I'll put it in my grandchild box so that someday they will be having you know their time for school and everything and they will be one up because we will practice with them beforehand 
Um, and then I found these little votive holders and I was like, wow, they have come out with some really, really cute ones. This one looks like a honeycomb type of design all over it. And then this little metal leaf right here is just, I think it's beautiful. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous leaf. So they had this one right here and I wanted to get the one that looked the most like the honeycomb, but they did have, I think, two or three other color options for the glass. But with that same honeycomb design, I did take a picture of all of them in a row. And again, that will be on my Instagram so that you can see the other color options that they had in this little glass jar. So with a little candle in that around Thanksgiving for the month of November, once I'm starting to go back to decorating for just fall, you know, that'll be a really cute little glass to put a little candle in and burn it and let it flicker and light up the room. That's really cute. And then look at this one right here. And this has like that iridescent look to it where you can see a ton of different colors inside of it but it does have a yellow hue to this one and they did have a couple of other ones that did had other color hues to it but still had the iridescent look to it so i thought that this was really really just such a beautiful little glass again put a little a candle in there burn it that's like that's really cute to even put in the middle of a table if you're going to have dinner with your husband if you're having just a quiet night just you guys spending time together um that would be really cute to set in the middle of the table and just kind of have a romantic dinner with your loved one so right here I did find another lipstick that I've never seen before and it's actually a three-in-one because you could either use it for a lipstick blush or eyeshadow and it is from LA Colors also but I loved 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 the color of it the color of it is pink satin right there and that's the number to it so I had to pick this up because I definitely want to give it a try. It's like more of like a, it says pink, but it's more of like a purpley tone. And you know, I love purple more than anything. So I grabbed that and I will wear that on another haul for you guys to show you what it looks like actually on the lips. Now let's get into some Halloween stuff because I've got some really, really cute stuff that I am so excited to have found. Um, let me show you really quick before that. I do want to start, you know, getting more into making some more wreaths. I've made a couple, but the holidays are coming and I want to really get into my crafting and my wreath making. So I needed to pick up some more ribbon and I did get these two right here. Um, for my wreath making and they're both nine feet of ribbon so those are the two that I picked up just to kind of twist around my wire wreath form so that I can put the embellishments on top of it and it can adhere and stick on to the wreath form really well um, and now oh my gosh oh my gosh so I found these tubs and they have updated them for Halloween and so I got this black one right here and it says welcome to our haunted home and I absolutely love it I love it with the moon on it and that is just so cute I'm probably gonna put a big arrangement of like orange flowers in this and stick some pumpkin picks out of it and set it out for decoration purposes so I got that one then I got this one right here and I did get all three options I think there were only three so I did get all three options this one is that gorgeous purple but it says creep it real and that is brand new for Dollar Tree to put that on anything and I think that that is so incredibly cute so this one I'm probably just going to fill with a bunch of bright looking Halloween candy um, and set it out for people to just snack and grab and go with. So Creep It Real is what that says on there and I think that that is really clever and fun. Then I grabbed this orange one right here that says Trick or Treat 
So what I was thinking with this again is to fill this with like black flowers. They do have black flowers, flower picks at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go pick up a bunch of black flowers. Some of them have like the purple like tint to them on the black flowers with eyeballs attached. So I thought I could make a little arrangement inside of this tub with those type of floral picks from the Dollar Tree. And I just amazing amazing i love those little containers anyways they've been coming out with them for the last couple of years and i think that they have been just so much fun to pick up and i love them now oh my gosh i have i had just seen frugal j my beautiful friend here on youtube um that also she sent me these earrings and i was gonna show you like at the end but i'm talking about her now so i'm gonna show you she sent me these in a happy mail and they're absolutely stunning and i love them to pieces um but i just saw that she hauled some new stencils and stuff for the bleach dyeing of the t-shirts and, and everything. Um, they're not really stencils, but people are using them as stencils for the bleach dye. And then I went this morning and I, cause I saw her haul, I was like, oh my God, I gotta go find those. I gotta go find those. So there they are. They were right there front and center for me to grab. This is the Bride of Frankenstein. So how cute is that gonna look on a t-shirt bleach dyed? Um, I have so many wood cutouts at this point. I'm hoping I pretty close to have all of them now so that I can start bleach dyeing. And then there is Frankenstein. And I absolutely love Frankenstein. I always have since I was young. Uh, the Transylvania 6-1000 or something like that was my favorite movie growing up. If anybody remembers that movie or the correct title to that movie, please leave it in the comments below. But I believe it was Transylvania 6000. Transylvania 6000? I, I, I hope I'm getting it right. But anyhow, I've loved Frankenstein ever since I was little because of that movie. So I found him and his bride and I'm so excited about it. Then right here, I grabbed this one. And how much fun is this one going to be to bleach dye? Because of all the little ins and outs of the wood cutout, I hope that that t-shirt comes out amazing with this stencil on it. So it says happy Halloween, but look at the detail in the cutout to this. Look at the bat right there overlooking the whole entire sign down below. They did an incredible, incredible job on this wood cutout right here. So there's that one. And then this one. <gasps> I'm like completely obsessed with these wood cutouts. They make me so happy. That haunted house is fantastic, absolutely amazing. What a great design. And I cannot, cannot wait to put this on a t-shirt dead center. Like that is going to be a blast, a blast, a blast to get out there and start doing all of these little creations on the shirts. Now this guy right here, I just thought he was a little handsome guy. This owl is just the cutest and he is like a little container. I am probably just going to paint him all one color and put some flowers out of like the base and just set it on my counter. The, he's just so cute. I love him so much. So that was a brand new little wood option that I had never seen before at the Dollar Tree. So you know I had to pick it up. Then I found these balloons right here. And there's five latex balloons in here. But look at the confetti that's inside of these balloons. And it's of course my jack-o'-lanterns. So I absolutely, absolutely love these balloons and I can't wait to blow them up and just kind of bounce them around during like one I probably trick-or-treat night we deck out we hand out candy like we always have some type of a little function on trick-or-treating night around here so I'll use these for that night to just kind of have fun with them and blow them up for there and for the kids to just kind of bat them around and have a good time with it <coughs> I found this little ghost right here and I showed you the witch's, um, the witch's little curly toed, um, boot 
a couple of days ago in another haul and I found the little ghost. So I had to have the ghost because of my Michael Myers jack-o'-lantern um, and ghost little theme for Halloween this year that I'm going with. And I just thought he was way, way, way too cute to leave there. So I had to pick him up. Boo, boo, boo. So there he is. And he said boo to you. So I think that that is just the cutest. And I had to snatch him up for my holiday decorating bonanza. Now, I did find some stickers. And these are wood stickers. So I found this one right here and these are DIY stickers and this one looks like it's all set to go. That one is bare. You can do what you want with it. These are black ones and then the glittery, glittery looking purple ones, but I think all of them are cute and I would probably honestly just leave those stickers as is, even though they're little wooden cutouts that you can paint to whatever color you want. But I actually just kind of like them natural. And then I had to get this package of the jack-o'-lanterns as well. So I thought that those are terribly cute. And look, the little bats in there. And I could actually probably make earrings out of some of these, which might be my intention for some of these smaller ones. Um, and make them pairs of earrings. So I'm going to have to go and get some ear fastens and see if I can get that going too. And then this one right here is absolutely my favorite because of the haunted house. And I love the spiders as well. Those would be terribly cute as earrings for Halloween. I just love all of it. And look at how amazing that witch is. Like, which way you going, girl? You coming to my house this year? She is cute, cute, cute. And that haunted house, fantastic. For one dollar, I mean, the stickers, you can't even compare them to anywhere else because you're not going to find stickers on any level close to what the Dollar Tree carries for only a dollar any other place. So, thank you. <laughs> and then I had to grab these. And these right here are paint our paint sets. So this one says trick or treat to which I thought was just the cutest. They had a whole little display of these. I took pictures of all this stuff and all the ones that I did not pick up, but I definitely wanted the trick or treat with the little candy corns right there. Comes with the paint and the little brush in there. So I grabbed that one and I grabbed the three jack-o'-lanterns and you know I had to have them because there's three and there's jack-o'-lanterns. And they come with the four little markers. But I have so many markers. I can doll that up with all of the marker options that I already have in my little case. And that is going to be the way it goes. So I absolutely love those finds right there. And I was so excited at the Dollar Tree today. You have no idea. I have to just look down for a moment. So if you will, please excuse me. I'm going to bounce over here right now because I found the Halloween tree and I was so excited to find this Halloween tree. I actually did get two and that is what it fluffs up to look like. It has the black and orange little, um, little pine looking needles on it and there are the ornaments all over it. And I am going to dress these little babies up and put them throughout my house. I have all the ornaments already that I have showed you in some other hauls that I've done over the last week. And I think that this is such a cute little thing that they came up with to make a tree just for Halloween decorating. That was such a great idea and very clever. And I love it. Now, toward the Halloween... Um, the Thanksgiving festivities in November, I found this sign right here. And how could you ever pass up a sign that is scalloped like this? Look at that edging. It is fantastic. And this says fall hay rides, apple orchard, pumpkin pie. And what an absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful sign. They did such a fantastic job. And I would see something like this for way more than a dollar in Hobby Lobby. I can tell you that. It is a 
decent, decent sign. So how they can make this and sell it for $1, I do not understand. That is really a sweet little um, sign to put up during Thanksgiving. And it's going to be really cute for decorating. Then this right here. I thought that this was so, so cute. And it comes on like the little platform and it says, welcome friends. They did have another three options of the same type of setup, but with different wording, different colors, different embellishments on it. I took a picture of those as well that I will share with you on Instagram, but I did want to just get this simple one right here because this is the one that stood out to me and I just liked it for the month of November to decorate. Just says simply, welcome friends but I loved the sunflower and that is an added little wood piece on there. And I like that they added the little, um, raffia bow. So I picked that up right there and now we're already at 30 minutes, but I do have a couple more things to show you guys. Um, really not too much more, but I wanted to put some treat bags together once we get into the month of October because I hand them out to my little cousins. I hand them out to trick-or-treaters that I know more personally in my neighborhood, the kids that are, I have a ton of kids on my street. So I want to make treat bags out of all of the bags that I have purchased from the Dollar Tree, the little treat bags. So I picked up some of the little things that I can put inside of the treat bags and I grabbed these notepads right here and this is an eight piece. So there's eight of these little note, notepad looking um, Halloween designed little paper in here and I think that that's really cute. So for $1, I can put in eight different baggies. And then I picked up the jack-o'-lantern one. Again, there's eight pieces in here as well. So for $2, I have 16 of these little booklets that I can add to a treat bag. So I think that that's really cute. Then I had to grab these miniature little pens. I did grab two packages of these. There's 12 piece in there and it comes with all of these teeny tiny little pens, but I love the designs all over them. I think that they're really, really cute. And um, so I really, I just think that that is just the cutest. So the note, little pads and the pens will go inside of the little treat bags. Then I had to grab at least one of these right here. And this is a whole entire little 18 piece um, of stickers. So there's three of that kind, three of that kind, and three of that kind. Uh, on Oh, well, there's six, six, and six. So that would make 18. But these are the stickers that are inside of these little boxes right here. And that is really sweet also to add because then they can put the little stickers inside of those notebooks have the pens to draw and write little things on the pages and i love the box that says don't be corny <laughs> that's so cute so that's what i picked up for that and i still have some sticker boxes left over from last year so that is it happy saturday dollar tree haul i hope you guys love this haul I am going to be doing a happy mail friend mail opening with you guys um, for a couple of the girls that we send little presents back and forth to one another to share with you guys what they sent me just recently and how much I appreciate them as my friends, as my YouTube family, and um, just that we we share these things with one another. So over this weekend, I will be doing a quick little video to share with you guys what I have received in friend mail and happy mail. I do absolutely love my earrings, Jay. Thank you so much. But that is it. So I hope you really love this haul. Let me know in the comments below what you are going to put on your list to go out and try to find. I am going out this weekend on my Dollar Tree road trip day and I'm heading a whole entire string of them and I can't wait for that. We haven't done it in a few weeks. So we'll see what I snatch up over the weekend. If you like my videos and you like hanging out with me, please subscribe to my channel. 
like, share, comment for sure because I love talking to you guys and hit the bell notification so that you see every single time that I put up a new video and share my life with you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, blessed, happy, healthy, wonderful, amazing, fantastic. Always be kind to one another couple of days until I see you in Monday's Dollar Tree haul and the friend mail haul. And um, that's it. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all of your incredible love, support, and just being here. And you make my weeks a happy place. And I really appreciate you all for that so, so much. So that's it. I'll see you guys in a couple of videos from now. And I hope you have a wonderful one. You're all beautiful. And I appreciate you more than you'll ever know. Bye, guys.